CoreFlow Soft Stent is a device for management of bladder outlet obstruction. CoreFlow Soft Stent has two functions. It works as an indwelling catheter, and when the rear section is removed, the front section functions as a stent for the prostatic urethra. CoreFlow temporarily deobstructs the prostatic urethra. CoreFlow Soft Stent has three different lengths available, which resides inside the prostate, 30, 40, and 50 millimeters. To select the correct length, it is important to measure the prostatic length by transrectal ultrasound before insertion. Select CoreFlow 50 if the prostatic urethra is longer than 50 millimeters. Select CoreFlow 40 if the prostatic urethra is longer than 40 millimeters. Select CoreFlow 30 if the prostatic urethra is longer than 30 millimeters. If the prostatic urethra is 30 millimeters or less, CoreFlow should not be used. CoreFlow can be used as a diagnostic tool to pre-check continence and mimic the results of an active BPE treatment by temporarily relieving prostate obstruction. Instead of an indwelling catheter in patients waiting for an active BPE treatment, instead of an indwelling catheter post-active BPE treatments, instead of clean intermittent self-catheterization if patients find this troublesome. CoreFlow is inserted as an ordinary indwelling catheter. Insert anesthetic gel into the patient's urethra. Insert CoreFlow soft stent into the urethra and into the bladder. Fill the balloon with 10 to 20 milliliters of sterile water. Before separating the rear part, fill the bladder slowly with saline solution until the patient feels an urge. Use a clamp to prevent leakage. Remove the silicon layer. Pull the loop of the thread over the funnel. Remove the clamp and then carefully remove the rear section by lightly pulling the rear part of the catheter. The stent part is now in place and is temporarily resolving the obstruction of the prostatic urethra. Now you can observe if the patient is continent or not. If the patient is supposed to leave your clinic with the stent in place, place two overhand knots on the part of the balloon inflation tube close to the inflation valve. Cut off the tube part below the knots. Instruct the patient to micturate. This mimics the result of an active BPE treatment. The thread can be pulled when the patient cannot relax his external sphincter. The balloon is deformed and the stent reaches below the external sphincter, allowing the bladder to empty through the stent part. CoreFlow has multiple functions. As a diagnostic tool, it mimics the result of an active BPE treatment. It can be used instead of an indwelling catheter for patients waiting for active BPE treatment and after the intervention. The benefits are less discomfort and low risk of urinary tract infections. Cut off the balloon inflation tube above the knots to let the balloon fluid out by self-pressure. Carefully remove core flow by pulling the thread.